Here is another one of those things most builders rarely think about. However, I'm willing to bet that the large home builders have been thinking about it for years and doing it. And that's the fact that our roof sheathing could cost us a lot of money in wasted time and materials if this particular measurement is incorrect. And all I'm suggesting that you do is figure out what the measurements are going to be for the area that is going to be covered in roof sheathing on your project. And to do that, all we need to do is take into consideration the pitch of the roof or the angle slope of the roof, the width of the building, the design of the roof. For example, is it going to be a hip roof, a shed roof, or a gable roof like we're looking at here? And of course, the roof overhang. So what we have here is going to require one four foot sheet of plywood and another piece that's going to be one foot three and a quarter inches, which isn't going to be that big of a deal because this measurement here, one foot three and a quarter inches, is just a little bit shorter than 16 inches, suggesting that we'd be able to get three pieces for this section here out of one sheet of plywood with very little waste. Or we can add an overhang to the building that will allow us to put two full sheets of plywood in here or one full sheet and another sheet that's just going to be a little bit smaller if that's going to work for our design. However, if it isn't, we can simply change the pitch of the roof or make the building a little wider or shorter or reduce or increase the length of our overhang. So again, in this example here, we have a 10 foot wide building with an eight and 12 roof pitch and the length we're going to need here so that we can get the perimeter nailing on our gable roof and make our engineer happy is going to provide us with one full sheet of plywood, four foot wide here, along with an eighth of an inch gap in between those pieces. And then of course, another two foot piece of plywood. And if we want to use two full sheets, four foot and a four foot, we can adjust our overhang, the length of the overhang to make everything work out accordingly. And hopefully by now, most of you are starting to get an idea of what's going on here. However, for those of you who watch my videos often, you know that I don't stop there because some people still aren't getting it. So let's go ahead and make the building a little wider, 14 feet, change the slope to 5 and 12 and see what we come up with here. 7 foot 7 inches, a little shorter than two sheets of plywood or OSB, something that is 4 foot wide. And you can see here where we're only going to have about 5 inches of waste on one sheet of plywood. Something like this is not going to be as big of a problem as something like this with a roof overhang that's going to require a larger piece than 24 inches here, especially if we need to have our perimeter nailing. So for something like this, we're going to have a full width piece of sheathing and then another one a little shorter with about five inches of waist. And then of course a two foot piece of sheathing that isn't going to work. We're going to need to cut this a little bit longer. And if we do that, that's going to create a lot of waste. If I need a two foot five inch wide piece here, then I'm going to end up with a piece of scrap, the other side of the plywood that I'm not going to be able to use in this area of the roof, or I'm not going to be able to use that piece at all if the engineer is requiring a two foot minimum width in our roof sheathing. However, keep in mind, we could always reduce the length of the overhang or reposition the sheathing if that's going to work for you. So here we would have a full piece of sheathing, full piece of sheathing and a two footer providing us with a 10 foot length. If I needed to make this a little shorter, I could reduce the pitch of the roof or reduce the length of the overhang. Again, the main point I'm trying to drive home in this video. Next up, let's take a look at the biggest problem that I usually run into, and that's going to be when you have a small piece, two four footers to equal eight feet, and then another piece a little less than seven inches on a building with an eight and 12 roof with a 14 foot span, suggesting that to fix this particular problem, we're going to need a full piece 
and then a piece that is going to have a two foot minimum. We cannot have pieces that are smaller than two feet sometimes on some projects. So we're not going to have any waste here because if we cut a four foot piece of plywood in half, we're going to end up with two pieces that are two foot wide. However, that's not going to be the case over here. We need a piece that's two foot seven inches, suggesting that the other piece of lumber we're going to have to get rid of that's going to be one foot five inches wide, if I did my math right, and provide us with a little bit of waste, unless we're going to add an overhang. So again, we could have a four foot, a two foot, and a four foot piece to solve this problem if it's going to work on our project. Now keep in mind that I'm not suggesting to save money on the roof sheathing that you spend more money on your roof framing by purchasing longer rafters or additional materials. Just simply throwing out something that might help you save a few dollars on your next project. And in our last example, I will reduce the slope of the roof to a 6 and 12. And you can see here where we end up with something just a little bit under 8 feet. If we just want to use two pieces of sheathing, or we can add a 2-foot piece here, or a 2-foot piece down here, depending upon what's going to work best for our project. And the last thing I want to point out, and trust manufacturers have been doing it for years, and that would be to use fractions. For example, a five and three quarter inch number might work better here, or even a six and a quarter inch number might work better here. So don't be afraid to change these numbers if it's going to work better for you and your local building authorities allow it.